Well, it is day three here in southwestern Oklahoma. As you can tell, it's very windy. Uh, the rain has subsided for at least the morning. And in fact, we can kind of almost see some clear, clear skies, but the wind's blowing 25 miles an hour. So that's definitely a little bit of a hindrance. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna park right here on the side of the road. We had some really good action yesterday in the pouring rain. Uh, just, well, nice. it's about three quarters of a mile, maybe a mile in here. Uh, but there was a couple of valleys that I think if we get in there, we're gonna be out of the, out of the wind pretty good bit. So we're gonna park right here work into the wind with the wind in our face and uh, hopefully hear some bugles. I think if we hear some bugles, we can get within range. I, I know we can get within range, calling range of uh, one of these bulls, but we have until about noon until the, the weather rolls back in. So <sighs> one weather set back after another, but I think this morning, so this, is our, this is one of our best opportunities besides open the morning, this is our best opportunity. We've been wearing uh, tennis shoes so, like, yesterday evening and today because our boots are super wet. Oh yeah, they are wet. <laughs> We're walking in, got mostly across this field. Pretty sure we just heard a bugle. Wind is whipping. It's hard to hear because of the wind. It's hard to hear because we're moving. That's where they're going to want to, and that's where I'd want to lay down. He's bugling his butt off. What do you think? You think that we're in this? Maybe. You wanna go straight at him? Maybe call him up, uh, like, you know, cross right here, then go basically right over those tops right there. I don't know what that was. Is there a predator out here? A what? A predator? Like, from the movie Predator? I hope not. Well, he's gonna take the biggest one, so you better be ducking. <laughs> tucked up against that, that's where he's at. I bet you he's either on that hillside or in that valley. Kinda wanna get up there, <laughs> like up the hill, but I was like a ninja running through that stuff. We lost Bugle, he hadn't bugled in a while. Came down to the very bottom, he had to kind of get out of the wind, get the call. He fired up a couple times, and we were about to close the distance. And he sounds a lot closer, so. Probably get up there. I'll probably set up right here. Good spot. We'll set up. 
right here somewhere. something. We'll call him right here. Get room. I'll get over here in these rocks. You can get on the other side of the rock. Right there. There he is, there he is, there he is. Stay, stop, stop. just walking up that hill. He's walking back and forth on that hill. He wants to come. Stay on him. I'm gonna try to shoot him again. I got him.
Oh he bugled right in my face at 15 yards. And you had it coming in. <laughs> Trevor, thank you so much, sir. Dude. Oh my God. This is leg two of my Oklahoma Grand Slam, and that is my first ever archery elk, my first ever elk. And that was an unbelievable experience. That's a great bull anywhere in the country, especially in my home state, in Trevor's home state of Oklahoma. Holy cow. Look at this, man. This is a mountain, look at this. Come over here. Look at this, Josh. That's a mountain, and that's a mountain. We're on the north end of the Wichita Mountains, and they're, they're mountains. <laughs> Golly. There's so many elk out here, dude. That's a big elk. That's a big elk. We got, we got a heck of a pack out ahead of us. <laughs> we got a heck of a pack out. Uh, here's his tracks right here. See, see his tracks. And all this sage right here. We've been walking all morning in terrain just like that. We were on that top of that mountain earlier, walked the entire side of it. I mean, we've done some serious mountaineering today, but I believe there's a dead bull 30 yards from us right now. I see him. Yeah. I see him. Oh. Look at the size of this animal. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this trap. <laughs> oh. Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> Tre I can't thank you enough, dude. I'm sitting here with Trevor Johnson and Josh, come to Josh the Spaniard. That'll work. Josh the Spaniard. And we're in front of or behind an absolute gorgeous, a stud of an Oklahoma elk. And I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done this, since we met, we, we started talking in July to right now. Mr. Josh, thanks for tagging along every day except for today whenever we actually kill. I think that hey, really we I'm probably could have, we could have probably killed Saturday yeah. if you'd have stuck home then too. Yeah. But no, the important part. that's very true. In all seriousness, I'm, I'm grateful, grateful beyond belief for you two, for being the liaison, not only for hanging with me, but the liaison for the, the landowner. Golly. First bull in your home state. My first ever elk, period, with a Matthews in my home state. I'm two hours from my house. I am two hours from my house right now. Think of the hours you've driven to the western states. <laughs> I am two hours from my house. We can almost see downtown Oklahoma City from here. You got up that Nick. Yeah, dude, call me. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah. Golly, I can't, I mean, I'm, gosh. This is crazy. Hell of a bull. It's a hell of a bull. Be a hell of a pack. And so we help. Yeah, we kill them in a heck of a spot, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're up here. Yeah. That's all right. We got time. Think of the story, guys. Oh, yeah. I think of the story. That's why I've been. That's why I've been thanking y'all so much and being very appreciative. Get up. Being appreciative, yeah. you know. Yeah, I'm glad y'all didn't let him go down any further. That would have <laughs> tarnished the story. <laughs> yeah.